Welcome back to Flint Creek Transport. My name is Justin. Guess what showed up today? We got the inspection papers, and this is our 2022 Western Belt Trailer. It's a little bit dirty. It just had a 23, 2500 mile trip in from Boise, Idaho. We're gonna get this thing washed off. I'll show you guys the trailer. If you wanted to know anything about a belt trailer, today I'm gonna to go through our brand new belt trailer. It's actually this one on the right. This one on the left is actually a twin. So almost the same trailer, just a year, year and a few months older. So this is the new one. They're gonna head out with it Monday morning. But before they go with it, I wanna show you guys how, all how a belt trailer works. Yeah, kind of go over with you what we ordered and why we why we got it the way we did. Most of these belt trailers that come in are low sides. These trailers, I want to say they're right around 13.4 high, 13.2 maybe, 13.4 high. We try to get them as high as they can. And the height problem that we run into is always in the front of the trailer. So in the back, it's not that height. It's always in the front up by the fifth wheel. The products that we haul are a lot of mulch or you know bulk products. We haul grindings, things like that, that are high cube. But then we also do haul some grain and some things like that. So most importantly though, is we need the high cube. So our trailers that we get are higher sidewalls than what most trailers are. This trailer specifically is a 2022 48 foot it is a western trailer if you haven't seen the video or the two videos i was just out in boise idaho did a plant tour checked out this new trailer when it was still out there and we also kind of yeah went through the whole plant it was pretty cool so i can drop a link for those videos up above let's get started on this trailer i'll run up front here to the vin plate and i'll show you real quick that this trailer was just built here Oh, about a month ago. I think it says March, March of 21. And the volume of this trailer is 105 cubic yard trailer. We ordered this trailer. This was special order. Basically what I did is I said, I want this order from this trailer. I want to make another one. And we tweaked a few things and I'll show you those things that we tweaked. When you order a trailer, you can order however many lights you want on the side on the top you can pretty much spec it however you want to so that's the cool thing when you order a trailer and once we have a certain spec like we're constantly upgrading so once we have a certain spec we just say hey i want another one or we might tweak a few things but basically we want one just like we got the last time so it's pretty simple we don't have to go through the whole thing of laying everything out just some overall specs on the bottom rail there's five lights on the top rail or up on the top there's usually five lights we have continental hsr2 24.5 tires they are the hendrickson disc brakes and hendrickson axles so the tarp option is side to side roll tarp i'll show you the way these trailers get loaded everything comes in from the top so these tarps are pretty easy to crank over i'll show you so you want to pull it out a little bit and then crank across pretty basic see how it latched in there we'll climb up there and I'll show you the inside of the trailer and how it gets loaded. So with these trailers, we just have ladder up the front. There's no platform because you're not rolling a tarp from side to side. So our Titan trailers have a platform here in the front. That's how we roll the tarp on those. Here is how it gets loaded. You can see I basically crank that tarp from one side to the other. And you can see these big cross members in here. Those are steel. And we got more in here usually we got i think two big ones instead now there's a total of five big cross members or hoops in there and that is to prevent the guys from packing anything and those other little ones that we had they would just bend and when they drop a load of mulch in it would bend them down in so just causing a problem and we're like you know what the next trailer we get we're gonna just get big crossbows hopefully that works better so there's no straps. We don't have to deal with any straps on this. The straps basically keep the tarp up. Hopefully that works with this trailer. 
So when we pull in somewhere to get loaded, usually it comes in on a conveyor or a big payloader and they put it right over the side and dump it in. So I must say the trailer is not very clean. It came in and we never got it washed. We did get some things done to it, but we did not get it washed. It's gonna go back out early Monday morning. It's gonna get in use. So the guy that washes our trailers was not able, or trucks was not able to come in. So when we're loading, this is just an air gauge here. And what the guys do, they'll they'll turn that red one the red line on if you can see it they can adjust that to whatever they want and then the black dial there is just let you know where the actual pressure is so you can see right now there's basically no no air in the bags or very little air in the bags or there's no weight in the in the trailer i should say so once you start putting weight in that gauge is going to go up usually somewhere between 60 and 80 for you know 100,000 pounds or whatever we haul also there is, you can see the suspension is inflated or deflated. You can do that right here. And then the auxiliary lighting. A feature that this trailer has that some belts don't all have is this hopper attachment on the back. This is for when we're hauling grain and it needs to get funneled down into a pit or something in the, in the ground. Basically treat it almost like a hopper bottom, right? And the material will come right out and fall right down in there. So. I've unloaded with a hopper already, it's pretty slick. And these are not that heavy. They just unclip right here. I just gotta put the other one on yet, but it just clips in the side of the trailer. It might weigh 50 to 75 pounds. So I had it in wrong. I'll show you. There's actually hooks on the bottom side and you can see how it attaches. So now you know, I don't do this every day, but I have used it one time in the past. So yeah, I figured it out. It's pretty basic. All right, now I'll show you guys how the belt works. And I'll run it empty for you. I'll get this back door open and I'll show you how to control the belt. So to run this trailer, we need a PTO or a wet line we call it on our trucks. We actually have to carry around extra oil. This truck actually has an oil tank in between the frame here. And these two lines, two hydraulic lines, is there's a pressure line and a return line. Those are hydraulic pumps back there, basically what runs the uh, floor or the belt and the pto is connected to the transmission pto pump down there you control this belt in the back first what i'm going to do is raise this door otherwise i'm not going to be able to open the door so you always want to make sure either you have that raised up at least a little bit before you start letting product come out or before you turn the belt on pull that lever lifts the door up and we can unload two different ways that's the kind of cool thing with these trailers you have this door this small door you can unload, unload your small grains through or you can open this big door which is what i'm going to do and show you how to how we usually unload a load of mulch i'm gonna grab that and there's a lock here just hold this door here you can see the inside so we back up into a bin or whatever it is and we get that door swung around we'll turn the belt on so it's this control flow right here so this is a continuous belt continually goes around and around the motor is right in under here and that whole thing drives this shaft which pulls that belt continuously all right and then you can obviously see if you're hauling grain or something like that you just adjust the 
door on the belt. There's so many different options you can get, like a different light package in the back. There's different style of doors or different style uh, headers they have in the back. Ours are fairly basic. I mean, we do have, we put extra lights on. You can actually get like this sheet and post. You can get a wall that goes, just an, a panel basically that goes on the outside. I'll show you on this other trailer over here, what happens when you don't have that, if you get a ding. So this one, you got a little nick here. Probably you'd still see that on that wall, but sometimes you'll get a nick that's on this or uh, something will punch through sometimes. Just that inner skin would actually be up above, but it would punch through or dent it. And when you had that outer skin on, you would not be able to see that. So underneath these trailers, gives you a little look how it looks underneath. You can see that belt, how it flows. Those flaps hang down over there but it gives you a little idea what these trailers look like underneath. They have the lines running here. Guys, we were so eager to see this trailer get it into use. We've been very busy with mulch and these work really good with mulch. They unload very fast. Typically you can unload a whole load in a few minutes. It doesn't take long at all. It works out really, really well. So obviously too in the front, you can customize, you can get a stainless front, you can get all different options. Basically call up and order what you want. These trailers are not their standard trailer. They obviously, like their stock trailer, we actually bought one of their trailers they have in stock and that was like a 44 footer. We order ours 48 foot closed tandem at the back. And the reason we don't do spread axle on these, we could do spread axle. The reason we don't do spread axle, we do have issue with tire scrub and things like that. A lot of the places that we go into, uh, the closed tandem is fine. You know, they're running more grains and things like that most of the year so we try to get away from the spread axle if we don't need it i don't know if there's any other thing you want to see on this trailer that pretty much wraps it up they're a very well built trailer we really like them they do a fantastic job for us so if there's more questions you guys got on these trailers please let me know in the comments i'll show you this truck that we got hooked up to it it is the 1999 kenworth w900l has the C12 motor. Actually, I think I did a video on this truck. I think it's our 1999 Kenworth W900. Check out that video. I can drop a link for it above. Another thing you can see what we got in in one year's time. This trailer is trailer number 365. This trailer number is 371 so we got in a few trailers since the other western so that included a walking floor and some flat beds things like that so we're constantly adding constantly upgrading this is our fourth trailer our fourth western belt trailer that we bought new in the last i would say in the last three years i think we got four trailers we're going to continue to purchase them as long as they keep holding up they've been like i said a great trailer for us as always guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace out